Carolyn. What is an avatar master and wizard? An avatar master is somebody who has done the 10 day avatar course and has decided that what they want to do is to pass these amazing tools and ideas onto others. And uh, so they take the master's course and some of us right away, some it takes longer, but we get licensed to deliver the course. A wizard is somebody who has taken the advanced course, which is called the wizard's course, which is 13 days. And it's, it's a play on the traditional indoctrinated word called wizard. It's someone who has mastery and is willing to continue developing mastery of using the universe and the wisdom that's beyond ours to grow and serve the planet. So when you took the avatar course, was it to change your own life? or you knew you were doing it to change the lives of others? It's really interesting. When I chose it, I really did it because I was already um, 18 years into my own personal development company. And one of my students who had done all my courses came to me, told me they had taken the course. They were now a license. They were going to be teaching their very first course under the supervision of an amazing woman trainer that she, he thought I would love to connect with. So I kind of did it as a favor to him. I was already teaching personal development. I was feeling good about it. It was doing well. It was global. And I took it. Okay. Day five, I was convinced that these tools, number one, were much easier, more effective, and better than the ones I had been teaching. And not only that, I realized that I had been unconsciously indoctrinating my students to believe the way I do. And what I really love about the avatar course is we do not tout any belief system. We do not tell you how, what to believe. We are global. We have every religion you can imagine and beyond that comes through this course. And what they do is they learn the tools to explore their multifaceted mind. <laughs> We often, in today's technology, call it, we're, you're going to be exploring your operating system, and you are going to become a deliberate director of your life, and you are going to have the tools that you can decide what you believe, uh, discreate those things you know you believe, discreate things that you didn't even know you believe, but we're operating through them so that you can effectively bring your dreams, your hopes, your goals, your purpose uh, into your life, the life of others, and ultimately the world. So when you took the course, you finished the, the initial 10-day course, how did you or your life begin to unfold and change? Well, I made a decision immediately to shut down my business, which was a big risk. And, and I contacted my producers. I had several producers all over the place and told them that I was going to terminate this and teach something that I felt was a lot more effective and longer lasting and easy to use. You know, people can learn tools and if you don't practice them, you're not going to use them, but these are simple things. And you know, in the moment, what, what tool you need. I mean, you don't use a screwdriver when you need a toilet plunger and you know <laughs> when to use what tool. <laughs> And uh, so I uh, filled out my year's contract. I did have, this was March. I filled out until the end of the year and got my master's license and started teaching. When someone goes through your course, Avatar course, and they complete it, do they begin to shed their belief systems, their family indoctrination, their political views, or do they hold on to those things that they believe make them who they are, but just navigate life from a higher vantage point? I would say the process begins on the first day of the course. However, it's very important that the student realizes that they have choice so that you choose the beliefs you want. Now, if you like your indoctrination, go for it. If it serves you, and that's going to be the measuring stick. The beliefs that you find, do, do they serve you or do they hold you back? And then you decide 
how uh, you want to reprogram yourself. You're going to do it yourself. Avatar is about you living your own life. And we don't tell you how to do that. We just teach you the tools so that you know, as I said before, the difference between a situation that needs a screwdriver and one that needs a hammer. And you have the tool right there in your toolbox so that you can do it yourself. And you're more in touch with your moral code so that you know whether that moves you forward in your goal and mission. Marilyn, what are the distinct benefits of your avatar services versus traditional methods such as a life coach, a therapist, a counselor, a hypnotist, and etc.? We don't want to fix you. Uh, we want you to empower yourself. We want you to touch into that diamond who you really are, that you know, who you really, really are, and to allow you to see life through multiple viewpoints, not just the one that you've been fed. And that you're always in charge. That's the main thing. Because that's what we need on this planet is leaders. A leader is in charge. They might not be the leader, but they're in charge of their lives and they know whether or not to continue following this leader. And which means they know they are really the leader. Marilyn, how would you describe the perfect potential client for your avatar services? If somebody has that desire and is willing to explore, because you need to be so vulnerable to get beyond some of the stuff that you've been uh, believing all this time is the truth. And you also have to be very compassionate because the people who taught you that by and large thought they were doing you a favor. So it has to be someone who's willing to be vulnerable and compassionate and explore and grow and practice and always has the bigger vision of making the next generation better. <laughs> How do the benefits of using the avatar tools unfold over time with your clients? Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. That's all I can say. The tools are, even the master's course, we are using the same tools as in the avatar course. We're just using them on a more evolved level, you know. If let's say you have a natural ability to sing, you might start in a, in a kindergarten choir and then all of a sudden you'll realize you would like to have a teacher and learn more and then you advance and who knows, maybe you be maybe on uh, one of the TV shows that's uh, spouting these amazing global uh, artists. But you're always using the tools and you trust them after a while so implicitly. And as soon as you really trust them implicitly, it's like a rocket um, blast into another dimension where it is easier even than you thought. Do you find that sometimes people fall off the wagon as far as using the tools or is it once you learn them, they become innate within you? We want people to be human. We're not working with superhuman AIs yet unless they happen to be come to the planet and want to have fun with us. You know, we're willing for that. But yeah, we're working with human beings. And let's face it, you know, this morning I heard my daughter called me and she was in tears and she's having a, a difficult time. And I felt myself wanting to sympathize instead of empathize. I felt felt me wanting to blame someone instead of to understand they're coming from their own viewpoint. You know, yeah, there's, we're still human. We still have temptations. We'll still fall off, but we always have the tool. Is there anything else that you would like to share about you your business or your services before we end? I know of no other tools and a network of amazing heart driven people and anyone who really, really wants to uh, master their life. We just call it living deliberately. It's, you know, it's just living deliberately. I would uh, urge you to get in touch with an avatar master 
And I also would like you to know that in these times, um, that attitude is the most important thing that we can have. The perspective that we have, always choose a big perspective, always widen back to something a little bit bigger than what you believe is true, because it may surprise you what you'll find.